incredible time to have you here. The rain is gone, the sun is back out, and you played, so how are you feeling? Ah, uh, ecstatic. It, yeah? We loved every second. It's still buzzing. Still yeah. buzzing. It's, yeah. Hours later, we're still... <laughs> on the vibe of the band as well, as soon as we come off stage, we were all just like, yeah, I can't, I can't describe it, which is really not good for an interview, is it too? No, no, it's wonderful because I kind of want you to feel that way, but I also hope and dream that you will have had a moment on stage, you had a brief amount of time, half an hour. Did you have the moment on stage to stop, get out of your head and go, wow, we've done this, we've accomplished this? Um, oh, yeah, I'd yeah? say so for me, yeah. Yeah, it, as soon as we got to the end of the last song, I thought, we can relax now. Yeah. Written, yeah. You felt like no. All right. No. We we we've done it. There, there yeah, are no that's, problems. That's, we're good. We, we've done it. Yeah. Was did you worry or have any concerns about the challenge? Of course, of bringing people into the Sophie Lancaster stage early in the morning. Um, I think it's always daunting, but there was there were so many people there that made an effort to come out. To see yeah. It. it was it was so nice to see. Yeah. It, yeah. It really Everyone that we talked to about it, they were like, oh yeah, we'll come down. I'm yeah. gonna be like dead, but I'll come down. Yeah. Like, Oh, so you've used the last few days. You've been here since Thursday? Uh, you were Thursday, I was Friday. So you've been using opportunity net to, boring word as it is, network. Yeah, I, I, I live for it. I, lo I, love, I love a network. <laughs> I've tried to. Like, I'm a little more shy than like Sam is. I've seen a few people from like bands like Fury that are like, mm -hmm. camped down there as well. And those guys are really good, but I haven't had the courage to go over and be like, hi, you know. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really good. And um, Tribe of Ghosts as well. Yeah, they're on. They might have already played by now, but yeah, they were uh, now. over there earlier, yeah. and we had Enigma. a nice chat. Enigma, Enigma Division. Division. 100%. Yeah. yeah, that was my Killer. top pick of the weekend, apart from Michigan. To be fair. Like. Oh, so you are most looking forward to Michigan, yeah? I'm gonna get oh, my okay. grand face on big time. Love it. Okay, okay, oh, that's intriguing. Who, aside from that, up to this point, who have you seen that you've really enjoyed? Kill Switch. Switch. Smash. Ah, oh, okay, Kill Switch fans. Yeah. yeah, they smashed it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. What about the rest of the weekend? Who are you really looking forward to aside from the sugar? Aside from the sugar. <laughs> Tim of Rowan's KK's Priest, man. Okay, like, really? Oh, so that short notice change really did a benefit for you, right? Uh, 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 well, no disrespect to Halloween. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I mean? But I, Tim of Rowan's, man, like, hero, man. Oh, he's, yeah. He's fucking sick. But you? Oh, um, see, I want to say, I can't say it because I've already said it. Who am I most looking forward to? Mm. I want to check out Not Loose a little bit. Okay, later, maybe. Little, little bit. I'm not like big into them but I know they're making waves and I want to go and, and go down and sort of see what they're like live I've heard a lot of things so well they're a great example of Bloodstock's diversific yes. diversification um, as we move on we are seeing more and more bands getting booked and so on does that excite you does that interest you that you are seeing this diversity in Bloodstock there needs to be there needs to be some sort of like a, well there's nothing wrong with like the way that the lineups have been mm -hmm. but seeing the shift like having like architects announced as a headline yeah, there I'm was obviously a, a mixed reaction but it's a good thing and people are going to enjoy it anyway like um, when Skindred got announced a couple of years ago people were like oh I don't know but like they came and conquered and like they do you know and it's yeah we, we need everything that makes metal good at Bloodstock even if it's some genres that people don't think you know it's not might not be as popular but they still they've still got something to bring to the table before Architects was announced Rotten Christ were announced oh yeah, yeah like, exactly so it's the best of both worlds. Oh, it is. It is the best of both worlds. I mean, at the same time as you guys were playing, of course, see the, see the Nakira won a main stage, and there's a great example of variety. It gives people options. Score Those guys are really good. New blood. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Let's talk to them, of course, yeah. as well. Um, what do you know from your perspective? What do you want to do to bring yourself back here? So ultimately, the goal isn't you. Have, it's a pinnacle, and it's a nice end to this part of the journey. But what about what comes next? And what do you need to do to come back? Uh, I, I think it's going to be on the next release. Yeah? Uh, yeah, we, we got a couple of singles for the rest of the year that I think we're going to release. Yeah. And then next year there's going to be a, a big release, I think. Are we dancing around some here? Do you not want to go and give me more detail? Give no, me more we're, detail. We're giving you, we'll you stuff. Um, we're, we're recording at the moment. Yep. It's, it's going to be. It's sounding, it's sounding heavy, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's going to be good. We're excited about it, but they need to be finished yeah, before okay, we can right put them in the set. So we're chomping at the bit to get them out there. Um, and then I think the other thing is deciding whether we're going to do an EP or an album because right. everyone's consuming music differently yeah. and it's like do we put everything into an album and drag time on a little bit more to make that perfect or do we do an EP, a couple of EPs down the line and Oh so you're acutely aware, you're, you feel you're clued up on how modern music is being treated? yeah, especially with things like Spotify and yeah. stuff, I see a lot of singles a lot of time and everyone's still hyped, just as hyped for a single as they are for an album a lot of the time. If you bring an album so, out, there's a big, there's a big, 
keep buzzer bite in yeah. for a few months and then it'll start going Course. down a bit. You do regular singles, it's just constant. Yeah. Constant. But then how do you stand out? That's the biggest challenge of all, really, because that's cool and all. That's a great way to do it and it's the right way back then. Everybody's doing that. How do you plan? Are you thinking about how you stand out on social media and things like that? So, so I mean, I do a lot of social media mm -hmm. and I like to... I, I think you've just got to be net, you've got to be engaging yeah you're, you're engaging with your audience you've got to be engaging with other bands as, as well involve all the other bands in, in your stories share their stories it, it's, it's got to be a good joint effort of all bands yeah it, it usually gets reciprocated as well doesn't it yeah, like we it, help them they help us like, yeah. a lot of the gigs that we've played in the last year like we record a little bit of their like set or take some pictures and send it to them like and a, 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 a message and then you end up just exchanging more messages and yeah. working out some gigs and stuff like it works out really well so you're quite insistent upon the let's pull each other up yeah yeah, yeah it needs to be a big community man 100 percent. do you think that side of things has got better or worse since covid kind of passed as it were i, I well personally we i find it better yeah yeah we we were a lockdown band like we started because of lockdown yep and the community is awesome. Like, so you are a positive story out of an incredible negative period of time. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Like, I hope so. Yeah. All yeah. we want to hear. It's incredible. I was on furlough and it gave us a lot of time to mix it up. Yeah. It. Yeah. That was it. It was like because we we had plans and then the plague happened, as I like to call it, and then it was just sort of like, well, we've got some song ideas. We'll record some bits, send them over to one another, and and yeah, and then before, pretty much by the time everything was sort of ready to carry on we had an EP like I lived I lived next door to my drum man oh, well. Well, yeah. oh it's it so was easy oh. over the fence do it do it again mate. <laughs> <laughs> what about when Bloodstock came calling talk to me about that so you know it's a big deal yeah it, it was it, Bloodstock for us is it's the dream isn't it to, to be able to play the Sophie stage especially we've, mm. we've played I mean I've played 2010 with Tempestora yeah 14 with Okart we played last year with Ambrius, never played the Sofa stage and it didn't disappoint me, it was worth the wait, it's mm. unbelievable. Did, was, when they came calling, was that the original offer? Were they like, okay, you're going to play the Sophie? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I mean, can you remember what you felt? Oh, it, ecstatic, it just, I was just ecstatic. I think Simon Hall gave me a text or a message saying, do you have five minutes? Oh. <laughs> and I said, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> like Here's my number, he gave me a call. And he said, uh, are you coming to Bloodstock? And I said, yeah, we've already got tickets. And he went, do you fancy a slot at Bloodstock? And I don't think I let him finish his sentence, to be honest. I said, yes. <laughs> I yeah. love it. I almost want it to be so much more professional than that, but I actually love that. I love it. It's so it. Bloodstock, isn't it? It's yeah. very much them. It's the family feel. And do you feel you've been treated well? Yes. Uh, yeah. Beyond, beyond well. They're, they're so welcoming. Yeah. Like, much like the crew on the new Blood stage, yeah. like the, yeah. on the Sophie stage, they're just as good. Real nice. And real. Willing to help. Um, and yeah, it, really, really good. Felt like we were just being welcomed in. And, you know, it's like home. It yeah, really they're, like they're home. But you know you, you know you deserve this. You've earned this, right? Oh, My brain great. tells me otherwise, but I, I get <laughs> that. So I need to give it a little wobble every time. We're pretty hard on ourselves. We'll we, 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 we we tell you. You've, deserve this guys congratulations on being able to do this congratulations on playing the selfie stage so we know that stage is in your future just keep on doing what you're going to do but now we're going to change things up Ozzy Osbourne randomized yeah. questions okay. based around a festival plus a couple that I particularly love to throw out there so like and we'll read them number one if and when you return to Bloodstock what would make your experience a bit better mm. then? that's a good question at, the, at this moment it's gonna be very hard to beat, like, but I don't know. I think just being able to be here again as an artist is a present enough, man. Like, more money. <laughs> Let's put <laughs> it that way. Yeah, more money, bigger slots. There you go. <laughs> Fair All right, throw another one out, Dan. All right. What's your favourite Disney animated movie? Mm. <laughs> Disney animated. No Pixar here. I want oh, the original no stuff. I want to say, um, and I'm going, I can't even remember if it's what it's called, I used well, to watch it a lot. Is it The Sword in the Stone? Yeah, yeah, Sword in the Stone, of course, yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Wonderful. I'm glad I remember that. Jungle Book's pretty good, man. Which one? Track. Jungle Book. Jungle Book, okay, okay. 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 You didn't say the best one, so you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> what's, your what's the best one? <laughs> the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, uh, okay. 100%. 100%. I've got one more for you. What is your go-to festival food choice? 
Yeah. yeah. We've been eating this weekend, I suppose. That's a better start. I did have a burger from the from the burger bar of that. Good. It was really good. I, I'm gonna say burger as well. I've not really had a lot since I've been here because I'm always worried that like, you know, I just want to make sure I just stay hydrated. Yeah, and, yeah. And you know, now once everything's finished later on, I'm going straight over to there and grabbing a burger. Burger always wins. We don't normally do this, but I want to recommend because we both had it this weekend first time. Bunny Chow, you'll have heard of it. Yeah, yeah. If you need something filling, check them out. They will oh, sort yeah. you out for the entire day. Dan, do one more. Just do one more. I'm down for one more. Well right. <laughs> one more for you. A zombie outbreak occurs at Bloodstock. How are you surviving? <laughs> That's a big one. It's the first time that one's come up this weekend. <laughs> Where can okay. we even hide? Um, VIP toilets got a door. <laughs> I don't know if you're surviving in there. Yeah. <laughs> to be, like, what are you going to eat? To be fair, the security are, are like extremely like hot on it this year, so they'll keep them at bay. Uh, like, no, you're is, sorry, yeah. you don't have a wristband. You're not coming in. And the zombies are just be like. <laughs> I love it. You can sit down and have a drink while they're keeping them at bay. Guys, best of luck for the rest of the year. We so we expect and know you've got big things in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Really well, appreciate thank you very it. much, so much for having us.